Hello, welcome to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Um, Going to be taking you on a tutorial in Cubase today about quantizing audio. Um, brilliantness, uh, very, very useful. Um, allows you to take hit points from one audio track and apply your own quantization into that audio track or apply the quantization from that audio track to to another audio track of your choice. A um, little bit complicated, but we'll try and keep it as simple as possible. You know, by all means, if you've got any questions, please drop me a line and I'll try to answer them as, as quickly as possible. So initially, I've got a little loop in here, a two bar loop, 128 BPM. I'll just let you quickly have a listen. Right, so basically we double click the audio. Uh, this takes us to the audio editor. Uh, there you can see the loop quite clearly. Uh, what we need to do is select hit points and then where it says sensitivity underneath there, if we move a slider along, you can see it starts generating hit points. Obviously the more you turn it on, the more hit points you get we basically just want to make sure that every little bit there has um, a little little hit point next to it that will do now you can basically click slice and close and what this does is everywhere there's one of these little blue markers it creates a slice now um, very similar to a rex file uh, because there's loads of little slices, it, it then allows us to stretch those slices and, and make them, um, you know, fit our quantize. So slice and close. As you can see, the colour of the audio changed there. Now if I double click it again, there you can see it's all sliced up into individual little segments. There you go, all different sections. So now what we need to do is select our quantize setting. Um, I'm going to select quite a high one uh, just so you can hear the media effects so that's the original now if we go to audio menu real-time processing quantize audio and there you can see it instantly jumped and changed And that's that's effectively it. That's one way of, um, for instance, if you've got a, a, a groove going um, and you're using a, a particular quantize, you can also get your loops to fit into that groove a lot better. Let's go a little bit more severe so you can hear. Again, audio, real-time processing, quantize audio. It's a great way of getting some uh, unique loops from an existing loop uh, quite quickly. Um, there might be a little element within this loop that you like. Now that it's moved, you might like it a lot more and you might delete the rest and just use that little element from the loop. Um, a good way of being productive very, very quickly. Um, also, if we go back, so press Ctrl and Z there to take it back to its original file. Um, another thing we can do, um, once we've got all these uh, groove groove markers, let's just get another one, there we go, um, I can make groove. So if I click make groove, and basically what that does in my quantize menu, there you go, it's actually created a quantize groove from that particular loop, which again I can apply. So. That's the original loop. The quantize of that loop, I can now apply to all my other quantizes. Um, really, really handy. If you've got some really nice loops that you like, import them in, double click, select your sensitivity, get the loops right as you want it, and click make groove. That then applies a little, little file into your um, quantize menu. You may not have these quantizers in here. Cubase originally comes with these few. 
Um, these are all ones that I've got from an MPC um, and a DX uh, drum machines. Um, and I've applied them into my quantize menu. I will eventually get round to making a video showing you how to create um, quantize menus in Cubase. Um, really, really handy. Um, it allows you to step outside the box. I know Logic, for instance, comes with absolutely loads of different quantize setups, uh, which I found quite frustrating with Cubase. However, once you get your head around it, um, there's loads of easy ways um, of getting all your, your groove menus in there. So that's been it uh, from me, Mike Smith, ADSR Pro. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, uh, please get in touch, drop us a line, and we'll get back to you. Okay, till the next time. Bye-bye.